So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do far side chokes, meaning I'm gonna use the lapel on the near side and pass it to the far side. And the choking, you know, it's gonna be around the neck here. So uh, this is a good way to choke people. Uh, it is one of the ways from side control that you see a lot in sports jujitsu. Completely useless in mixed martial arts for obvious reasons. Self-defense, I doubt, you know, it's Minnesota here, so maybe you'll find somebody with a code that you can do that. But if you got the guy to the ground, I would not at that point be looking for chokes anyways. But, you know, it's a good technique to know for sports, uh, the sport aspect. So what we gotta do here is, first of all, I gotta guarantee that his gi is loose enough where I can pass the collar around. Uh, sometimes you got, you know, the situation where the guy would just started the match and the gi is all in there, you know, and you will see this a lot in sports jiu-jitsu where you start like opening up all the pelts, you know, so this is a very common deal here. It's not that they're trying to undress their, their opponent, they're just trying to get these lapels here open for better leverage. Uh, I don't like a lot of lapel work, but I teach the basic chokes because some of you guys like to do sports jiu-jitsu and, you know, I would hate to see you caught with something like this here. So, here we go. You get that lapel here on the near side, low. Not high at that point, but low. So if you're controlling here with an underhook or here at the waist, it's an easy travel here. Now the next thing that I'm going to do here is that I'm going to punch that through to this side here and feed it to this hand. So all I did was a big punch and a, I go deeper with this arm here so I can place my thumb and four fingers out. Now it's important to understand that the pinky usually goes in this kind of grip here so it's not a, you know, a major problem here. Uh, as long as you have three strong fingers in the thumb, you should be all right. Next thing I need to do here was, once I get this grip here, the ideal situation is one where I have the arm either to this side or to the other side. And I'm gonna show both, okay, where his arm is in here and where his arm is on the other side. If the arm is in here, so to that side here, closer to the head, what I wanna do here is bring my other knee close to the initial knee and straddle that arm there. So what you see here is that the arm is gonna be on top of my thigh and at this point I'm supporting it and it's impossible for him to move it out of there because it'll, it would catch on my armpit. It's also hard for him to roll away. So even if he wants to take a turtle to escape this here, it's not gonna work, all right? So he cannot turtle away. So at this point, what should I do? I recommend, this is where we're thinking about sports jiu-jitsu, that you put near the belly there if possible to score some points. But if you don't want to, to finish this here, you can finish a couple of ways. Number one, if it's so tight that if you just pull this tight, so what I'm doing is pulling my left elbow towards my left hip, and I drive with the shoulder here. This will probably be able to choke him. So an easy finish here is to bring that elbow through and drive the shoulder. So once again, elbow in towards the left hip, left shoulder comes, driving the head towards the choking hand. Another way of doing it is to slice it. So you go right here and slice through. I don't like slicing on the side because there's a lot of freedom here. So I would only slice if I had my knee here to block his knee from coming in here. Now you just slice, literally as the name implies, and just cut it downwards on my forearm. Another situation here is where the arm is on the other side or I want to transfer the arm to the other side. So if you start the same way, what I would do here is this hand would go under here. So what I'm doing here is touching the arm on this side here, knuckles to the ground, drag it across. I call it a paintbrush motion. And then you have your arm here. So you end up with this. Now the arm is controlled. I like this better because it gives me an option to bail into an arm bar if the choke fails. And this finish is definitely one where you can't slice here. So I slice and now I got the arm in there, okay? So you're here, slice, okay? So we're gonna start with those simple variations here. Once again, say the arm's on that side, you're gonna open up the gi, punch through, thumb goes in. Now, if the arm is on this side here, you can bring your left knee towards the right one, force it so that that arm right now is trapped. Bring your left elbow towards the hip and drive with the shoulder to finish. If you need a little bit more power, bring your right knee in and slice it. 
If you want it on the other side, after you get that, that gi grip, just paintbrush this arm in, come to your knees, and right there, okay? Let's try that. 